Good morning. I'm Daphne Hill, and I'm Development Director for the Boys and Girls Club. And I'm also uh, the president for the Colin Panther Heritage Foundation. And this is Miss Devin Jones. Hi. Devin is the unit director for Hazelhurst. And the building um, that we're about to give you a tour of was formerly the Millsaps Hotel. And it is now a Mississippi landmark. We started this project about four or five years ago. And our first phase, every month, all the money that we've gotten, and so far we put about 700,000 into the building. The money that we have gotten, we got uh, from Mississippi Department of Archives and History, and then there were um, a lot of personal donations from uh, people around the community, as well as we also had one uh, additional monies that came from um, state bond money. Then all of that has gone into the building. The first thing we did on this building was to redo the roof and stabilize it. The second thing we did was to redo all of the windows and all of the doors, and that has been done. And then the third phase that we're in, this is a five phase project, the third phase we've just finished, and um, that is the area that um, the Boys and Girls Club is gonna be using. Now, the, the, this particular building, uh, eventually, as I understand, according to Ms. Uh, Ainsworth, is this is going to be the team center for the Boys and Girls Club. And once the um, Hazelhurst has finished building its community center, the regular Boys and Girls Club is going to be there. So just get that out of the way and let you guys know what's going on with that. This area that we're in now is the foyer, and we had an area that's set up for um, the receptionists. All of the desk furniture that you see in here was donated by Bancor South. The rocking chairs, uh, those were private donations. And in this room, I'll let Devin tell you what's going on in here, but it's 14 and over. We have uh, some chairs in here over to the side. Those were donated by um, Kapaya Bank over there. Yeah. And I'll let Devin tell you the purpose of this room. So in this room, it will be um, a dual room. It will be for our 14 and over, but it will also act as our um, our library, also like our media room. We have a laptop cart here. We also have our smart board, Promethean board. Um, we will have a bookshelf here um, that we'll have books that students can possibly check out. Um, we will have donations of books. We're already working on that. Um, we also have reading materials here um, that students will be able to use um, to catch them up on their reading skills. Um, so this is what this room will be um, used as. And that reading program over there was donated by We Care Mississippi, which is uh, another organization that's a partner of uh, the Boys and Girls Club. And I think uh, I'm on that board as well. Uh, we've been a partner with Boys and Girls Club for about five years. So we'll walk through here, Bonnie. And uh, while we're on this side, we'll just show you the boys' room and the uh, girls' room. Here, we have to put signs up to do this, uh, so everybody will know this is going to be the little boys' room. And then next door is the little girls' room. stalls in here. Okay, now we're going to look at the wing where um, the kids are going to be located. Uh, you've just seen the foyer and you've seen um, the room where the teenagers are going to be and we're about to show you the additional classrooms down here. Uh, I did want to mention though that this is a um, 9,800 square foot building and uh, Boys and Girls Club will have a use of the entire building except for one section um, that's going to be the office of the Colin Panther Heritage Foundation, which has a totally separate entrance and uh, locks off from the area that the Boys and Girls Club is going to be using. So, you know, there will be no, uh, you don't have to worry about people coming in and out where, where the kids are. Um, so, uh, as you can see, 
I'm gonna now, uh, Devin is gonna talk to you about the individual classrooms. So right now I'm standing in the classroom for the five to seven year olds. Um, we have it set up right now just to see how many students we will have, but there's also enough space um, to put um, additional tables or chairs um, and keep them spaced out right now during the pandemic. Um, we also have a smart board that will be going on the wall. Um, so that they can have um, the learning tools that they need. We will also be decorating the walls with um, their art for uh, and their additional um, learning tools, um, learning fun things that they'll need in this room. Um, we have um, little, I call them common chairs. If they need to get out of the chair, if they get too antsy, these may come when they ask them. director's office um, so I um, chose this space so that I could be on the same side as the students so that I could be in the midst of everything um, that was going on so if there's something going on I could just be right here um, and just know what's going on at all times I would have receptionist up front so she could handle the front and I'm on the back so that I could be back here and be abreast of everything um, that's why I chose this space as well. I also have any issues or problems, I can have students to come over and I can also assist my teachers and help teachers um, with students with homework or any discipline, I mean, not discipline, but um, um, yeah, well, any discipline problems that they're having or disruptions that they're having, um, they can come over here and um, sit with me and I can help them with that. So let's talk a little bit about um, the next phase that we're gonna do uh, immediately. As you can see, this is the stairwell, and we stopped uh, the renovations um, halfway up the stairs, except the stairs were redone, because, well, mainly because of funds. We've gotta raise the funds and do the additional part. But we're gonna finish this stairwell all the way up so that as parents walk in, uh, they won't see um, this portion right here. And it's not gonna take very much to do that. In fact, we have the money already um, to do that part. We're just waiting for Mississippi Archives uh, to uh, approve the plans. Every time you do something to the building, because this is a Mississippi landmark, you have to get approval from uh, Mississippi Archives and History. So, um, that's the next step. Uh, that's part of the next step. We also um, have to do a kitchen and I'm gonna show you where we're gonna do the kitchen and the dining area. This door will be locked and uh, the kids will not have access to this. But for now, let's just walk over. And um, we've got a lot of stuff over here in storage. You can see the hallway and the hallway down there. Uh, we're gonna put a door to lock that. That's where all the uh, electrical closets 
uh, and everything is back there. And um, as a matter of fact, we should probably go back and look at the electrical closets. Are, are they unlocked, Devin? I'm not sure about them. Let's see if they are unlocked. Yes. Turn on. Are they? Yeah, they are. Not sure what that is. I think that's a hot water heater. And that's something. Not sure what that is. <laughs> that's the air conditioning. Air conditioning. Okay. And over here is where we have our wiring closet. Turn the light on in here so you can see that. Yeah. Everything is directed out of that room. Um, even our alarm system, um, fire alarm, everything. Okay. So now we'll walk back. Um, and then if you'll turn the lights off, please, please. We're going to walk back to see where we're going to put the kitchen. And don't pay attention to all the stuff. We still have furniture over here and a lot of things that we've got to move out. But if you'll show them the ceiling, um, that was part of the first phase when we had to redo all the ceilings and the floor. Um, it's dirty because of all the stuff that we've put on it, but you can see it's a new floor. And um, this is gonna be the kitchen area. There's a space right in here where there were a closet. That's all, that wall is coming down. This entire wall is coming down. So um, it will be large enough for the kitchen. And then next door, is where we're gonna put um, the dining area for the kids. And again, we've got furniture stored in here. When we get this done, we'll just get rid of um, everything that's in here except for what, uh, what the kids need. And I mentioned that there was gonna be a Colin Panther office. That's it right here. The door is locked, so I can't let you in right now. <laughs> but, uh, and this is a separate entrance to the door right here. So we'll come through that door. And then, as I mentioned, this door will be locked. So I hope this gives you guys an idea of what we're trying to do with the project. The whole community has been involved in getting this done. So we are, we're pleased with the work that we've accomplished. And we're excited to have um, the Boys and Girls Club make use of it. Thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs>